Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I'm Moose, and there is no shortage of heartwarming holiday classics out there. But if you're looking for something a little less saccharine, we've got some recommendations to start your holiday season with a scare. Now that's what I call foul play. So while your grandma is spreading conspiracy theories she found on social media and your siblings are fighting over the switch, why not cozy up with these extremely messed up holiday horror movies to not watch with your family? <laughs> oh, ah. And since we're so close to Turkey Day, let's start off with Thanksgiving. Everything you need to know about this ultra trashy, extremely low budget slasher flick is pretty much right on the cover. <coughs> Gobble, gobble, mother It's one of those movies where the tagline was clearly thought up before the actual plot, which centers around Turkey with an IE, an infernal fowl summoned to our world to wreak havoc on, who else, a group of college kids home for the holidays. Daddy, you look different. Oh. Oh, you got a haircut. Yeah. Thanks Killing is extremely sleazy, campy, and cheap. It was made for only $3,500. But if you can get past the terrible puppet and you have a strong stomach, it's certainly the most violent movie involving killer turkeys since Jurassic Park. Besides, it's barely over an hour long, but if you still want more, there's also a sequel called Thanks Killing 3 because reasons. Do I smell sequel? Beyond! It's refreshing to see a celebration other than Christmas represented in horror movies, but if your inner Scrooge is a true holiday humbug, you can enjoy some non-denominational snowy slaughter with Jack Frost. No, not the sappy Michael Keaton movie of the same name and bizarrely specific premise. This Jack Frost is a serial killer who crashes into a truck full of gene juice on his way to death row. And there must have been some magic in that mutagen he found, cause when he doused it on his head, he transformed into an abominable snow monster who brutally murders people with icicles. How are you? World's most pissed off snow cone. Today, Jack Frost is best known for its iconic lenticular VHS cover, but it's largely been forgotten in the annals of holiday horror, unlike Black Christmas. One of the first slasher movies ever, and definitely the first one focused on the holidays, 1974's Black Christmas laid the foundation for Halloween, not to mention Santa's sleigh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, and so on. Its director, Bob Clark, went on to make the most beloved holiday movie of all, A Christmas Story. But before he was concerned with BB guns and the Bumpus' dog, I love that tune! Bumpus's! He crafted this simple story of a sorority under siege from a silent stalker. It's a little quaint these days. Honestly, Home Alone is probably more violent than the original Black Christmas, but you can check out the 2006 remake if you're thirsty for gore, or the brand new take coming to theaters soon. Finally, let's dial back the death and embrace insanity because we've saved the weirdest film for last, Santa Claus. Santa Claus, you love me, don't you? Say you love me, Santa. We're focusing on this 1959 Mexican film for two reasons. One, it's in the public domain, so we could use as much B-roll as we want. And two, it is strange beyond description. Mr. Molly! Apparently no one is in Santa's magic observatory. Instead of the North Pole, this Santa Claus lives in a castle in outer space with his best friend, the wizard Merlin, the Roman god of blacksmiths, Vulcan, and an army of robot reindeer. Santa's arch nemesis, Satan, sends an emissary to Earth to disgrace and murder jolly old Saint Nick. And things just get stranger from there. Let's put it this way, the phrase nightmare fuel was literally coined to describe this film. There's a prowler out there. He's come to kill your wife and your children. And it must be seen to be believed, preferably with some MST3K commentary from Mike and the Bots. <laughs> Whoa, now this is good old fashioned nightmare fuel. <laughs> now I realize we've only scratched the surface of strange seasonal cinema. We could go on for hours, but I really, really need to see about some mashed potatoes and pumpkin pie. So until next time, have a wonderful Thanksgiving and a happy holidays from all of us and now this nerd.
Thanks for watching everyone and happy Thanksgiving. 2019 was such an amazing year for nerd culture. Endgame, Rise of the Skywalker, Hideo Kojima's Death Stranding. We're grateful for a lot. So what are you thankful for in the year that was 2019? Leave a comment, let us know, and as always, please subscribe to Now This Nerd.